I'm making mineral collection boxes for my students at Clear Spring School. These will be used in geology class. And you can see it has a little angle here and an angle there, and that will allow the uh, finished boxes to nest in relation to each other. The object is that each student will have his own, his or her own collection of minerals uh, that will be collected here in Arkansas. And so it's just part of the study of geology. The, uh, these will be prepared as kits, and my students will have the opportunity to take part in the assembly. So each of these pieces has a, a mitered edge that I'm cutting on the table saw. I'm going to show you how to do that. And the way they assemble is like this. Tape holds everything together until the glue is dried, and then little uh, brad nails can be placed in the corners. If you're an experienced box maker, what I'm going to do next will be easy for you. If you're not an experienced box maker, you may want to uh, check out my videos or my books. Once you have your corners all taped together on your trial box and, all, and you've cut all your other miters for the rest of your boxes, you have to measure the inside like that to determine the length of the cross pieces that go in and form the various compartments. To make the parts for the dividers requires the use of a sled and stop block to make the cut. Pull the piece tightly up against the stop block. I'll make the cut, and then each cut that I make will be exactly the same length. To make the divider parts on the table saw, I use a setup with two stop blocks. The two stop blocks together allow me to make a cut to the right and then slide it over slightly and make a cut to the left. And then I can flip the piece around and I'll make the same cuts exactly the same way, left and right. And that gives me grooves that should be perfectly sized to fit the adjoining pieces. And it fits. You'll notice that the dividers are made of parts that have two different heights, and that's to hide this joint. Makes it a little more attractive. And so these are two of the taller pieces, and these are two of the lower pieces. The taller pieces need to be sanded with your sanding block to soften this edge, like this. You can also make your assembly easier by getting rid of some of the little fuzzy parts that are along there where the cuts, those cuts were made. So the two taller pieces get sanded on that top edge like that. Now this edge with the cuts here is actually the top edge of the lower pieces. So you sand along there and a little bit of sanding prepares them for assembly. The way these parts go together is like this. 